Look with me at verse 1 and verse 3 of Judges chapter 10 as we're introduced to two new characters, the next two judges of Israel. Verse 1 says, After Abimelech died, Tola, son of Pua, son of Dodo, was the next person to rescue Israel. Then in verse 3, we're told, After Tola died, Jair from Gilead judged Israel for 22 years. Now Tola and Jair served God's people for 45 years. And in all of those years, the people lived in peace, safety, even comfort, in many ways because of the good leadership of Tola and Jair. Other than that, we don't know very much about these two guys. I mean, other than the fact that Tola's grandfather's name was Dodo. Now, I don't know, for me, that makes me laugh a little, and it's kind of a play on words for sure, but Tola and Jair, they were anything but dodos, right? They followed the Lord and they led people well. And anyone who doesn't, well, I'll say it, they're a dodo. For Tola and Jair, it was simple. They followed the Lord, they led others well, and their legacy, their mark for 45 years, was a legacy of peace, safety, and comfort for the people of God. This reminds me of a New Testament truth that we can follow today. Paul wrote to the early church in 1 Thessalonians 4, make it your goal to live a quiet life, minding your own business, working with your hands, just as we instructed you before. Then people who are not believers will respect the way you live and you will not need to depend on others. Let me encourage you today to follow this instruction from the Apostle Paul and this example that we see from the life of Jair, the life of Tola, the grandson of Dodo. Don't be a dodo. Follow the Lord, lead others well, mind your own business, and leave a legacy and impact of God's peace upon the lives of those around you.